In this video with portrait photographer Mark Klaus, you're going to learn about the best tips for natural light portrait photography. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bohm Photography. On this channel, I do portrait photography tutorials and gear reviews. And in this video, I collaborate with Mark Klaus, a New York City based portrait photographer who is going to show us his best tips for shooting portraits in natural light. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, my name is Mark. I'm a portrait photographer based out of Boston, Massachusetts. For today's video, I'll be giving you guys some quick tips on how to like maybe pose people and dealing with harsh lighting and stuff like that. So for today, I'm going to be using the 5D Mark IV by Canon, and I'm also gonna be using the 50 1.2 by Canon as well. So yeah, for the first tip, when you're shooting backlit, I think it's important to um, you can either hide the sun like right behind her head, that way you can like have better focusing, or you can kind of like stand off to the side and get the focus as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lock my focus on her eye and then I'm going to recompose so that way the sun is still showing right behind her head. Perfect, those are, those are great. <laughs> so I'm gonna be shooting an up angle, like I'm gonna be shooting up. That way we can incorporate more of the flowers. Another tip when you're shooting from a low angle and you're getting them like up, is always to make sure that they're leaning forward just slightly and having their, um, their chin kind of forward just so that it doesn't create that double chin look. Awesome. So we're going to be shooting in direct sunlight. Sometimes this can be tricky depending on what type of shadows you have or like what time of the day it is. So what I'm going to look for when I'm looking at her face is for unnecessary shadows or anything that's like that makes it look not that great. Like if it doesn't flatter her face, I'm, I'm not going to shoot it. So if you can see like we're right in front of this tree. So it's creating just a little bit of like weird shadows. So if you see my hand, it like makes those weird shadows. Um, those are the things you don't necessarily want unless you're going for that effect. And the tip that I would give is to make sure that you're exposing for the person's face. So whichever part's brightest, usually like the cheek area is the brightest. So always expose for that area. And then later in post, you can bring up the, the shadows and the exposure. I'll have you just turn a little bit more this way. Yeah, there we go. So um, another tip when you're shooting sh um, in direct sunlight is try to avoid that little like nose shadow that you get. So have her completely towards the sun. If you have it slightly this way, you're gonna notice like a shadow coming right behind her nose and it's gonna make her nose look bigger than it actually is. So just be aware of all of the shadows that are on her face. Yeah, we'll do one more and I'll have you look a little bit more this way. Yeah. Sweet. So I'm just gonna have her cross and I'm gonna get some like movement pictures of her. I think we're good. Gonna go this way. You're good. I'm definitely gonna be having to use my magnifying tool to zoom in because when you're at f1.2, like you never know what's in focus. So I'm gonna have to zoom in really close to make sure. So I'm gonna switch over to manual focus and just hit the magnifying tool and make sure her face is in focus. I'm definitely gonna have to zoom in. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Mark's channel, which I've linked down in the description. And also, if you like these videos, please be sure to subscribe to Dan Bowen Photography. We'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace.